Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Board Game Night with Avac. Hello. Madjin. Yo. Marblezier. Hi, everyone. And Quill18. Hey, folks. So today we're playing a game called Pandemic. And uh, I've never played before. Marblezier's never played before. So yep. these other three guys are going to school us in how it plays. <laughs> <laughs> Pandemic is one of my Pretty favorite much. games. It's one of those great sort of... Um, uh, what, what do you call it, like, the gateway drug, right, of board gaming? Because uh -oh. for people who have only played, like, Scrabble or Monopoly or, you know, other sort of conventional board games, and you want to introduce them to the wider world, Pandemic is great because it's actually a really simple game to explain, and it's cooperative, which, A, most people have never yeah. done before, and B, gives you a good opportunity to keep sort of teaching the rules just as you go, and you don't have to worry about being competitive, and the person who's got all the experience isn't going to crush the newbie, because you're supposed to work together. Uh, so you're saying you don't have to worry about all humans dying. That's right. That, does, that doesn't weigh heavy on your yes. mind or anything. Uh, well, all humans dying tends to happen probably about 75% of the time in this game. Oh, good. <laughs> Yay. It's not right. an easy No, we're game. going to lose or we're going to lose really hard. <laughs> yeah. It could be. I it just also... a message, lost connection to server. All right. That's Can awesome. Can anyone see me in there? Uh, right. I don't know. You can try typing. Uh... Why don't you go ahead and disconnect? I'll reinvite you. That's a okay, good start. Okay, that, that would be a good start, yes. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, then, sir. We'll uh, hope it's still working. So tell us more about the game. Okay. Right, so um, every player, so we go sequentially in turn, every player's got four actions to do in this, their turn. These actions can be used to move around the board and deal with things. The point of the game is there are horrible, horrible diseases out there. We are people who work for the uh, Center for Disease Control in Atlanta. And there are these horrible pandemics going on all over the world, and humanity is going to be destroyed by these viruses. And we have to go and treat people so that they survive, so that we don't lose the game. But at the same time, we have to try to work out the cure, a permanent cure for these various diseases. We win if we find the cure to all four diseases. We don't have to remove all the cubes from the board. We just have to keep the cubes. The cubes represent infected people, by the way. We just have to make sure there's not too many cubes, or we lose. And then we have to just work out what the cures are. And we do that with a variety of cards. The cards represent cities and also have special effects. Like I have a card for Shanghai in my hand. It is an orange card. If at any point one of us is holding five cards of one color, we can cash in those five cards to cure disease permanently. But you can also use these cards to do other things in the game. And we'll talk about that once we start playing, assuming Avec is still connected. Or yes. can reconnect. I noticed that oh. there is an avac in the game. I'm waiting for an invite for me. There moment. we go. I will <laughs> invite you. There we go. There we go. Oh, so now there's two, there's two, two avacs in, in the game. It's your evil twin. Uh, <laughs> does, the does bio need, terrorist. Does he need new cards now? Uh, you should still have them. Make sure you've got it, and then see if you can type. I've in the got chat. three cards at the moment. Three. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. You drew one too many, maybe. Yeah, it would seem so. I can see you testing. Yeah. So you should be able to uh, just put the card on top of the player deck in the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay. Bonk. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Presumably, everything is good and groovy. I would hope so. <laughs> so uh, there are a variety of different roles you can play as in this game. Each one have a, sort of a special ability. and they, they change the rules ever so slightly. Um, we could make things easier by hand-picking all of our roles, but I think it might be more fun if we just randomed. Oh, that's random. Yeah. 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 So Random just to roll. confirm again, we're not using bioterrorist in this. So uh, nope. That's right. Shen can't be a filthy Shylon this time. <laughs> <laughs> not today. No, but he technically team. still can try. We're oh, playing this in Vassal, a game engine, like a board game engine that you can play multiplayer with. And I'll have a link in my description box where you can get it. Hopefully, everyone will do that too. Mm -hmm. All right. Everyone, click the random rolls button. Random rolls. I maybe field uh, operative. Where is the random rolls? Arc it might be the roll. That would be the generalist. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are. Ha ha! I see. Oh, Avic, I, I'm already right? the field operative. So he has to roll again. Okay, so yeah. again. Archivist. I'm already the archivist. Nope. Get out of here. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, You're taking all the good ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I I think my two field operatives outweigh your one. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't see really. our medic. I don't see apparently. Uh, I think I just disconnected. Oh, connection to server. All right. Amazing. Uh, Again, I also ran up is, the generalist at the same time. <laughs> Vassal is very much a free piece of software, so you know uh, it <laughs> yeah. generally works fairly well. So, so you're saying if there are teething troubles, if it was four ninety nine, it'd be a different story. 
no, actually, probably not. <laughs> not at four ninety nine. <laughs> and don't forget to take when you take your roll. Don't forget to, to uh, take the little piece inside it. Yeah, and put oh. it in Atlanta. There's little pieces. Oh, we yeah. all yes. start in Atlanta, do we? Yes, we do. Okay. Where's these little? Because pieces? America. Uh, in the <laughs> rolls window. Oh, I see. Okay. It's easier to see once like people take their cards. All right. So where do we put those things? You put your A little, little thing. Atlanta. Yeah. You put your pawn <laughs> in Atlanta. Your, it's put your little thing in Atlanta. Wait, where's the little dude? It's oh, the card you took. Gotcha. <clears throat> I see it. There's actually a little piece. <laughs> That's Do awesome. Do I need to roll again or what? Mm. Uh, you didn't, you, your roll didn't actually show up, so just try it again. Okay. Researcher. Researcher. There you go. Oh, that's really good news. There you go. So, so, what are these rolls then? What do they do? So, well, the rolls we're using. Mm hmm. We'll start with the simplest. The generalist is very straightforward. So normally everyone gets four actions. The generalist gets a fifth action. That's me. You I'm just do easy. slightly more. Uh, the medic is very cool. So normally if there's disease cubes in a town, in, in a city, um, you can spend an action to remove a cube. Anyone can do that. But if you're the medic, when you spend an action in a city, you remove all cubes of that oh, wow. one color. Yay, me. Okay. It's very good. Now, here's yeah. the thing. Once we discover the cure to disease, so for example, once we have the orange cure, then things change a bit because then anyone who treats a disease in a city removes all the cubes of that color. So basically, everyone becomes a medic once we have the cure for a disease. But the medic turns into what I like to call Jesus mode, where you don't even take an action. <laughs> you just walk through town and everyone yeah. is instantly healed without spending a single action. <laughs> That's just I just visualize lay my hands right on their on their brow. <laughs> You're healed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People touch the uh, the fringe of your robe, and it's just done. Yep. Oh goodness gracious! The wow. researcher is okay. excellent in it. The more players you have, the more powerful the researcher is. So normally, so to cure disease, you need five cards of one color uh, in your hand, and then you discard them where there's a research center, and that will cure disease. And the way you tend to do that is by swapping cards back and forth. Like, uh, oh, I have three reds. Does anyone else have any more reds they can give me? Or orange. It's it, Even in, in real life, the orange looks like the cubes look red, but the board looks orange. It's just a wonky printing. Yeah, that's so what I'm I, seeing. The board, yeah. looks, okay. the, board, the, the board icons look orange, but the cube is red. Yeah, yeah. so I will interchange red and orange all the time, and I'm sorry that's if it's going to confuse people. But so... To swap cards, you have to be in the same city as the card itself. So, for example, I have the Shanghai card. So I can only give this card to someone if we're both in Shanghai. But the researcher can give cards away no matter where they are. As long as they're still in the same city as another player, the researcher can just give cards away. And so the researcher really facilitates other people getting their five-card combo. So we're, st we're all starting in the same city of Atlanta. That's right. That means okay. right now we could be swapping cards thanks to Mr. Researcher. That's yeah. right. Although no, no. the researcher well, can only researcher give cards. Could... Oh. You can't yeah. you can take cards from other people if you're in the city of the card name, but oh. the researcher's special ability only affects the researcher's ability to give cards away. I see. So if the That's researcher general, starts, okay. if researcher is player 1, then it's awesome. Yes, yeah, so you have to start handing cards away. Yeah. yeah. So is this our order of play here? We have field operative and then archivist, researcher, generalist, and medic. Is that our order? And um, who's player 1. <laughs> well, I guess I'm player one. Uh, we can roll pretty... to see who goes first, but... Oh, do we roll? You could just do it in, in alphabetical order of your roll. Um, I would just go on the based on, on who, act who actually took the player. Because Shen's player two. He's the archivist. I'm player four, so I'll go fourth. Sure. Yeah. Alright, that works. So, so I'm the um, generalist, I'm number five. Players normally have a hand limit of seven cards. The archivist has a hand limit of eight. And once per turn, you can spend an action to draw your current city's card from the player discard pile. So if you're in a, if you, we will sometimes discard city cards because you can use them to move around faster or maybe to cure disease, for example. So let's end up in the discard pile. And it looks like the archivist can go to a city and then if that city card's been discarded, he can draw that card. Okay. Which is that pretty is interesting. For, because we might accidentally, you know, give away too many cards throw away too many cards so they might have to rush through an area to pick them all back up to get the cure right like i had that shanghai card in my hand i could use shanghai on my turn to fly directly to shanghai sort of teleport myself to shanghai but i would do that by discarding the shanghai card and then if we want another 
red card later on to cure the disease, the archivist can just move to Shanghai and draw the card from this card pile, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I've got two red cards already, and I'm the archivist, so why don't I just start heading to Shanghai? You guys can discard your red cards, and I'll just cure it. That's a pretty good idea. I like it. But how do we... Well, have to tell me. You have to tell me how we cure stuff, though. We discard five cards. Is that it? Of one color. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, and you have, you have to, to be have where there's a science lab. There has to be yes. a research station. So how do you get a research station? So one starts in Atlanta. That's what that little red crossy thing is. Mm. And you can build one in a town by spending... Uh, the card of the city. Yeah. So if I walked to Shanghai and then discarded my Shanghai card, I could build a research center there. Gotcha. Okay. And I'm the field operative, and it's really weird. So in, when you cure a disease cube or treat a disease, normally the disease cube just goes back into the pile. Well, instead, I can move it on top of my card. And to, for me to cure disease, instead of spending five cards to cure disease, I can spend three cards and three cubes that are sitting on my card. Oh, wow. It's yeah. very weird. This is new in the expansion. I've never yeah. seen, I've never played with them before. So you take cubes onto your card, and the mm -hmm. card just sits on the board here, and you put cubes on it. And then yeah. you can use three cards to cure the disease. Yeah. And three. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah so that's actually just, really he just nice. Has to, yeah, he has to run to an area, cure diseases... A couple mm -hmm. times, and then happen to have three cards. So it's basically, actually, I have to cure diseases faster. with the color of like the cards I have. Yeah, it's probably faster to do it with the field operative than it is to stack up five cards on a research lab. Question: What happens when you cure? Not when you cure disease. What happens when you treat a cube? Do you does the cube go onto your card then? Normally, no. It just goes back into its pile. So it's just the field operative. So that means we might we might lose the game by running out of cubes if field operative just has a bunch of cubes sitting on them. That's right. Oh, God. Now, with five players, there's only four diseases to cure. So odds are I'm not going to cure more than one disease. Mm. So I'm only going to pick up cubes of a color. Yeah. A color well, so, I'm likely to, to actually So we can each cure. focus on one area. Mm. Yeah, ideally. You spread around but, the world mostly. But that does tend to cause problems because you can no longer trade cards. Mm -hmm. If you're far, far away from each other. Absolutely true. And unfortunately, we don't have a dispatcher. The dispatcher is probably the single strongest role in the game, especially with more players. And it makes yeah. the game so much easier with a dispatcher, and we don't have that. So this is going to be challenging. But I have, I've got high-speed action run, so I can just run all over the planet. Excellent. Trading cards back and forth. <laughs> So we have to finish the setup here. Uh, I believe I have to start infecting some cities to get us oh, kick-started. Please do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> so let, let's see how this looks. Spare us the details. You know, we, we don't need to know. Um, we spotted the terrorist. <laughs> so, okay, first of all, I think this discarded infection here, yeah, there was a mutation cards, and we're not going to use them. So I'm just okay. going to delete both of those. We're not using those. Uh, I'm going to shuffle the infection deck over here. I'm going to draw three cards. One, two, three. So I've got Ho Chi Minh City, Jakarta, and Cairo. Each one of those will get three cubes of the appropriate color. So three. I'm going to drag three onto Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah. Three onto Jakarta. And unfortunately, those are right next to each other, which is not what we mm -hmm. like to see. Yeah, that's potentially bad. And it is a good way to start. Because they're close together, it is actually easy to babysit them. Yeah. Just like sometimes if you get like lots of these red cards, you're like, oh my god, red is going to explode. On the other hand, it just means you just sit in Asia the entire game and you stay on top of the yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So now I draw three more. You got Essen, Algiers, and Johannesburg. So these will get two cubes each. Johannesburg is down there. Yep. And Algiers, we get some more black disease. We'll have to name these diseases. Oh, they, um, they I think the, names? The, the black disease should be called Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy. Jeremy. All right. Um, the blue disease I suggest is called YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most evil of all diseases. Perfect. I would have gone with okay. Twitch chat, but whatever. But Twitch chat is also good, yeah. <laughs> uh, the red one would have to be the absolute worst Steam forum comments. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, you guys are really getting, getting it out of your system, right? I, yeah. Jeremy, I've got nothing against any Jeremy. So, so, the way you, Jeremy no, what, what did Jeremy ever do to you? Yeah, well, show sure. us on the doll where Jeremy touched he you. He spoke in class today, didn't you know that? 
right. I don't know. All right, so, so all right, are we so. fully and completely set up? I believe so. Are, so. I think it's... Who are diseases? We have the blue disease. YouTube comments. Yep. Who's the yellow disease? Jeremy. No, that was the black disease. Oh. Malbazia, this is your call, I think. Yeah. Yellow Probably disease, good, Malbazia. Yeah. No idea. Okay, it's called... No, no idea. idea, okay. No yeah. idea. Yeah. And then Jeremy, <laughs> and what was the red one? Steam Forum. Steam Forum, we got it. Okay. Okay, right. we're good to go. All right, so I guess I'm going to start. So first thing I do is I take my four actions. Okay. So what the frick am I going to do? I don't even know. Um, <laughs> probably get myself over to the orange area. There's some nasty stuff. I'm tempted to do the thing where we discard Shanghai. And then I teleport over there and start curing some of the red cubes. And then you can pick up Shanghai later. I like that idea. All right. Yeah, that's, that's that's simple. So my first action will be I will play Shanghai. I guess that's not the proper way to discard. There we go. I will play Shanghai, and then I will move there. So that's action number one. Then two will be moved to Hong Kong, three to be moved to Ho Chi Minh City, and four will be to treat a cube. It's not a very action-packed turn. But you get Ooh. a cube. Yeah. Now, do I want to keep this cube? I don't think so, considering Shen's goal is to treat. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you move over to Jeremy? Shen, well, are, is Shen the researcher? I am the ar archivist. Oh, you're the archivist. Yeah, I'm the researcher. Actually, Shen could easily just run over there, hand you Tokyo and Sydney. No, because we have and to pull and pull Shanghai. The the then... ar the archivist Shen oh, would have to be. We'd have to be in those cities to do the swap. Right. So yeah, I think it makes sense for us to try to get the archivist all the red cards, and so yeah. the archivist will likely cure yeah. the red disease, which means I shouldn't keep this red cube. No, I don't think so. Okay, so I just returned it okay. to the red dish. I think you'd have better luck curing um, Jeremy. Could be. I don't have any other colored cards. It's worth noting, I actually have a special event card in my hand. Yep. Um, oh, I, can sp I can play this anytime I want. And during this turn, the current player may move one other player's pawn as if it were his own. Oh, wow. Well, that's actually yep. quite so, nice. That's very powerful. Order. Walkie talkies. Yeah. Yeah, it's, so. it's basically as if you were the dispatcher. Yeah. Instead of, instead of Quill moving, he could move somebody else. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, you can usually play these at any time, special event cards, but this one I think only makes sense if I actually play it on my turn. Yeah, I think it's yeah. only for your turn. Yeah. So my turn is over. So then okay. what I do is I draw two cards from the player deck. So I'm going to draw one and two, and I'm going to show us what it is. Okay, I've confirmed Ooh. no epidemic cards. That's good. Red cards, um, nice. Yeah, red cards. Ho Chi Minh City, which is where I am. If mm -hmm. someone, yeah. uh, if the archivist can come to me and take Ho Chi Minh City, that I would believe get I you, can get there, yeah. Yeah, that would get you a third card, and you can still pick up Shanghai whenever you want, which is four. Yeah, you're definitely on your way to curing the red one. Oh, uh, just to clarify the special orders, your, mm -hmm. your card, it's during this turn, and so you can play it at any on any person's turn, uh, but it'd be that person who then moves somebody else with their action points, not necessarily. Oh, during this turn, the current player may move one other player's pawn. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. quite useful. So it doesn't matter when I play it. It's the, that As person's it turn own. moves yeah. someone else's pawn. That's kind right, of weird. So okay. That could also mean that you play it during my turn where I get five action points, and I can use that to get, say, Shen into to Shanghai Ho City. and yeah. Ho Chi Minh City faster because I can move him faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have more actions. So we'll, yeah. we're going to keep that one in our back pocket. It's interesting to think about. Yep. Now, the last okay. thing I must do on my turn is draw infection cards. Right now, the infection dum, rate dum, is dum. two, so I pull two more cards off the infection deck, and we add a cube to those spots. One goes to Taipei. Oh, just one cube? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And one goes to Sao Paulo. Now, right now, this is all fine, because these are all cities um, that haven't been infected yet, right? Because uh, the ones that have already been infected have been discarded. Mm -hmm. But what's going to happen very soon, when we hit an epidemic, it actually, you take the discard pile, you shuffle it, and you put it on top of the draw deck. So then you're yeah. infecting cities that have already been infected. Gotcha. So they just get worse and worse. That's one of the most powerful mechanics in this game. Yep. Okay. Is it my turn? It is the archivist's turn now. Okay, so I get four moves, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, four we're actions. Gonna go to Chicago, to LA, to Manila, and then should I go to Ho Chi Minh? So we can be right next to each other? That's probably fine. And then on my turn I can give you my Ho Chi Minh card. Before Perfect. I go and do something else. 
So I, that, Dude, that's all right I can do, right? don't get right on top of me. This is really awkward. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My personal space is being invaded. <laughs> Look, I'll be over here in Borneo. You can do whatever. <laughs> um, so then I have to draw two cards from the infection deck. First, two player cards. Oh. Two player oh. cards, the bottom one. Yeah, at the bottom. Gotcha, gotcha, right gotcha. Cards. Now, do we just right-click uh, those or just drag them? Uh, I think you have to drag. Yeah, the, uh, the battle star yes. one has all kinds of interesting yeah, things. All right, so these go to Here my hand. hand, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Holy crap! Okay. That's You're going to be ready me. to cure yeah. something. Good. We well, we're off to a good did start you, then. Did you shuffle this deck right? <laughs> <laughs> he shuffled I, it with with Let's Win. That's I how shuffled, he shuffled it, it perfectly. That's right. All right, so then I then we do an infection deck. Two of them. Yeah. Okay. How many how many cards did you draw in your hand? You draw, I draw two. Yeah, you draw two. Osaka and Toronto, is it? Yes. You saw them. Oh, does it show it on the little I, list? I it does, yeah. Okay, yeah. so Lagos, I can do that. And like, New York. Like, got it. All right. And, and where, do we, where do these cards go? Just you, you can right-click on them and choose discard. Got it. Done. Okay. okay. That was quick. Nice. Now, it is worth noting, you can only cure disease at a research center, so we will have to build some out here. Okay. One of the roles is awesome because they can build them sort of anywhere. Uh, for free yeah. <laughs> it's really powerful but here we don't have that so we're gonna have to discard cards to build centers on the bright side the archivist can pull them back out and yep oh that's true so i can i can pull up ho chi min on my next turn mm -hmm. build the research center with the ho chi min card next turn pull up the ho chi min city again and then yeah it. actually you do know the same one you can i yeah because you'll i'll give you ho chi min you on my turn right. so on your turn you can build the research lab grab it back and cure it <laughs> yeah that's hilarious you will need a you will need a fifth really... card, but yeah, because I, I think you still need to Shanghai grab Shanghai. Yeah. yeah, but that's, that's fantastic. Fine. All right, so whose turn? Who's next? Who is our researcher? Hey, I'm next. Okay. I think we're missing my pawn, though. Yeah, there needs to be another pawn. Now I will point out the researcher and the medic. Your pawns are very similar colors, so Marvizer, yeah. you might want to grab like something completely different, like pink or where, something. Where yep, do pink. I grab them? Uh, in the rolls, I I actually dragged you down. You go. Grab, uh, how about Here's we grab the operations green. expert, that nice green? You like green? Yeah. Okay. Green it is. Okay. Yeah, green is fine. There you go. go. Fantastic. RB's okay, green. so I'm still quite confused how exactly all of this works. Mm -hmm. and okay. It's going to take so, some getting used to. <laughs> okay, yeah. so one action point to move per place that you move. Do you have the action key screen up, Marbizer? Uh, yep, I do. Okay. Okay, so all each one of those things costs you one action, and you have four actions. Yep. So, like on Quill's turn, he used a card to fly there. Yeah, I did the direct flight. And on my turn, instead of doing that, I just moved four tiles, because that's fine. So, Marv, you have a yellow card, and so do I. You have a good start. Oh, you could say things are getting serious. Ooh. Um, so if we head south, we could always... Where's Kinsasha? Oh, that's way over there. I'm thinking of a good place to drop a research station. Oh, wow. You know what I noticed? As the archivist, if I'm standing on a city that's already been discarded, I can pull up that city's card and use a charter flight to go anywhere on the world. Yep. That's yep. insane. Mm -hmm. So one thing, the researcher, I don't know, you may currently want to give a card away. You can give a card or cards Me. to the medic and to the generalist if that furthers our goal. Yep. Yeah, okay. if you want to hand, if you hand the yellow card to me, then I can run south and do... Yeah, you're a player five here? Yeah? Yep. If you just okay, and that will use one action, take... right? So that's yep. one action, giving one yellow card to Mud. Yeah, where, okay, where so I'll give you that card. Ah. I'm not sure if that worked. Going. Yep. Got it. <laughs> right, so now I can move three times if I want to. Yeah, you have three actions yeah. left. And so since you this might is want so... to go through New York and grab the blue cube and then head down towards the Algiers area. Possibly. Start cleaning up that mess. Yeah. Okay, and be... grabbing a cube is also an action, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. And it puts it back in the cube circle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll go to New York. And yeah. where do I put it now? Uh, I think uh, if you right click on it, you can put it back on the dish. Yep. There you go. Okay. There. And it's so, got its own counter, so... So that's two actions, you get two more. I, I think oh, that's, no, that's, that's four. That was four. Oh, I'm sorry. He gave the yeah, card away, four. he moved right. twice, and then he removed a cube. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, and what so, now? Take two cards. Yeah, two, two cards, cards from the bottom. Two player cards. Okay. 
Oh, our oh, first epidemic. Oh, no. Way Marble. to go. God, Marvel, yeah. you're so bad at this game. <laughs> How could you do Hold that to, to me? All right, so get, epidemics are the dramatic cards in here. There are actually five yeah. epidemics in the player deck, which is sort of medium low difficulty you can mm -hmm. change the difficulty of the game based on how many epidemics are in there yeah so, and uh the robot just went off too perfect yeah. Good timing marb <laughs> <laughs> so let's resolve this epidemic and we'll finish marb's turn and then we'll we'll put yeah. a cut in there so step yeah. one of the epidemic is we increase the infection rate indicator by one so okay. that's this bit here okay. this controls how many cities get infected at the end of everyone's turn so We're right now it's still two, two. we're still okay. fine next yep. is Infect. We draw a card from the bottom of the infection draw pile and put three cubes in that city. So. How do you draw from the bottom? I'm trying to remember here. <laughs> the bottom of Oh, I wasn't supposed to move the whole deck, I think. Um, oh. That's right. Oh, there's a pile for bottom. Yep. Oh, yeah, there is. How do I. And we can't. Mm. Just draw from the top. I mean, whatever. Well, it matters. <laughs> it does yeah. matter. Oh. So I can move, like, the whole deck back one at a time. Ugh, that's okay. kind of annoying. I mean, in this case, it doesn't matter because we haven't exposed it. I'll do it between cuts. But let's say, right now, because this this whole deck is fresh, it doesn't matter. So Moscow yeah, is what okay. we're going to get. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. So Moscow yeah. gets three cubes. I'll go ahead and put that one, two, Yeah, Jeremy three. is a bad disease. Mm -hmm. It is. Jeremy has been a very, very bad boy. <laughs> yep. Sorry, any Jeremy's out there. No, we're not. <laughs> you guys ruined our world. So then this gets discarded. Step three is to intensify. We shuffle the discard pile and put it on top yeah. of the draw pile. Oh, so no. we shuffle the discards, then I put it on top of the infection deck, which is there. So now the Infections cards we're going to draw from the infection deck will be cards that have already been infected. Oh, we got to okay. clean this yeah. up. This yeah. is getting no, disgusting. And then, oh, you, discard, then now, you discard the Epidemic and Mumbai. Oh, it doesn't... No, Marble's here still gets Mumbai. Yeah, and actually, yeah. I believe gets oh, yeah. a draw card right. to replace the Epidemic. Oh, yeah. what if it's another Epidemic? That would be very it, unlikely. Oh, I'm actually not sure... If, I'm not sure if you get no, to replace I don't, it. No, I don't, I don't think, think you do, you yeah. Replace it. Yeah, so Marble's only gets one card, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. okay. Otherwise, bad things could happen. Yeah, that's absolutely true. <laughs> okay. I got two Jeremy's in my hand now. Okay. Good. Good. You and you and Kyle can fix it. Now, uh, Marbzir starts to infect two cities. Oh God. Yeah. yeah no, okay. Done. And it's gonna be two cities no. that we've already infected. No. Yep. Yep. Go ahead, Marb. So I pull two cards from the infection deck. That's right. Yep. Okay. Oh no. <gasps> Jakarta no. explodes. <laughs> no. That's really bad start. GG. So, Jakarta already has three cubes on it of one color, which is the limit. So instead of getting an extra cube, I'm going to put a cube on everything connected to it, which is Sydney, Chennai, okay. Bangkok, Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, Ho Chi Minh City already has three cubes on it. No, it doesn't. Let's go. So it doesn't, also doesn't, explodes doesn't. in an outbreak. Uh, you took, no, no, you no, no, took you one took, off. You, oh, did I take one, one off? Already. You did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize uh, we, did, we been finished one. Horrifically bad. Okay. So, so it does so get, we it does get one. one. Ho Chi Minh we goes back up to three. Cover me up. <laughs> <laughs> so the outbreak counter Nobody goes up Shen by Rita one. Behind the infection. <laughs> <Shen Yorita. laughs> so the Ooh. outbreak counter goes up. So yeah. that's the first outbreak we've had. That's right. Yep. Okay. Now the we outbreak counter seven. doesn't do anything by itself, but if we get the eight at the end, we lose. So yeah, for yep. the Algiers oh, card, does that only add one cube? Yes. It does. If add one oh, to thank goodness. Where is there? It is. Thank goodness. Boom. So we're not yeah. completely screwed. Just yet. Not yet. It's certainly Jeremy's it's bad. Jeremy's getting particularly but virulent. So. Here's the yes, thing he we is. know. <laughs> in the infection deck, Moscow, Cairo, and Ho Chi Minh City coming up next. are still in there. Oh, no. yep. If we yep. don't get a cube off of those ASAP, hmm. we're going to outbreak again. Um, yeah. I like well how we went, from a, we went from a really nice start to an absolute... Well, that escalated end. quickly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Infections <laughs> intensified. <laughs> And that's I the thing, it, it, we have one. to prioritize getting the, the, anywhere with three cubes, we have to get one off ASAP to well, prevent these next, things from Next happening. turn is the medic, so hopefully the medic can get some magical miracles done. There you go. Yep. Well, I yep. guess we'll put a cut in here, and then we'll see exactly what uh, yep. Jesus medic can do for us. All right, it's every, everything's on your head, Jesus medic. You can, <laughs> you can do it, AVAC. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try, guys. I'll try. Okay, see you in the next Thanks one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone.
Till next time.